What's going on everybody? Welcome to another show and today we're opening two more Japanese Raging Surf to get those hits that we didn't get the last time. And also, we are doing another booster box giveaway. All right. Let's see what we put inside. Stay tuned. Well, hey guys, welcome again to the show. And yeah, we're doing another giveaway, right? So, yeah, um, you know, four requirements. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and like the video, you know, smash that like button and turn on your notification bell on so you can get updates on, you know, new videos and such. And of course, comment down below. And um, again, you know, a lot of news coming up on release date. And of course, Flash, uh, Future Flash and Ancient Roar uh, is coming up in a week or two and uh or in about a week and then of course paradox riff has already touched landed here in the states so the question is are you waiting to you know um open up future flash and ancient war or are you gonna go straight to paradox riff and yeah i mean that's the question for the day and comment down below and of course you know we'll give it about a week stretch to get everyone uh, on board and um, we'll pull the um, winner in uh, in a week or something like that so yeah um, other than that yeah let's go start first box and beforehand you know there was a, a box already that I opened and um, let me show you some of the hits that we got and yeah um, you can see like the bigger uh, background that we have here so how do you guys like it but um yeah um, this were the cards that um, we got in. and um, yeah guard chomp and <laughs> don't worry about it. not Miriam uh, just something I pulled on a different day ago just added in there <laughs> No, like no, Miriam is not in the set. Uh, the parasol lady is though, and we need her. So, yeah, cycles are or whatever, and then him again, or yeah, him again, my, minus. So we need plusle. So we got him again, and of course, you know, creepy dude, creepy uncle. Um. So yeah, got that, and of course, you know, we got saber sword or something like that, and then of course Riku. The, one of the two secret secret arts that um, are yeah super SAR that you can catch from um, compared to Parasol Lady one so let's see if we catch her but yeah um, yeah believe it or not this was just hanging outside in our backyard and I've been eyeing on it and I think it was close to the trash can and I keep telling myself, you know, I'm going to wash it and use it as a, a prop for a stage because it, it will look perfect. And, um, yeah, there you go. So, you got featuring my favorite pools um, over the last year or since I started. And, you know, Umbreon, Umbreon is one of Kayla Pool. Um, from Japanese EV heroes I mean out of all the boxes EV heroes that we got you know we pulled the Japanese one which is the most expensive one of all the versions and um, you know trying to pull the English one um, and or the Chinese and the um, Korean or I think we even tried the Thai one and uh, didn't get it so Definitely um, still on the radar as far as pulling those other Moonbreons in different versions. And that way, you know, we can at least use it for giveaways or something like that. 
So other than that, yeah, that would be that. And of course, um, yeah, so Raging Surf, um, it's going to be one third of Paradox Rift and, um, basically, again, it'll be like Paldea Evolve here in the States and, um, consists of Japanese sets or Asian sets, Triple Beat, and then, um, Clavers and, um, Snow Hazard or something like that, um, but other than that, you know, that's, it's three sets combined into one. And so, I don't know if you're like me, you know, it's getting harder and harder now to catch up <laughs> with all the sets considering, um, yeah, we want the full art of that one. But, um, yeah, we want, so, uh, the thing with me with a U.S. set, and I'm not sure if it's just me or y'all but um you know, I'm getting tired of the um off centered off centering or bad quality of the cars like print lines and stuff and I feel like you know the US um cards are not being you know managed or quality manage well so I'm not sure if it's Russian production you know meeting deadlines and stuff because they are coming you know pretty fast like um, you know Paradox Rift and again there she is again you know Paradox Rift is already here in the States and saw a couple of videos um, already of folks um, opening it I think in several whatnots already so I'm not sure if it's gonna give you know future flash and ancient war and I guess that's the only way uh, Japan and other regions like China and Thailand will get their sets is through those three boxes so what do you guys think is it good um, considering you know um, being in Asia and everything you gotta worry about completing the set with three you know boxes and deal with all the pull rates and stuff like that or um, yeah so we got golden cheese stick again we haven't got the uh, full art of it yet so maybe we will this time um, yeah so release the release dates of these are too spread thinly and um, yeah you know I'm probably gonna stay away from Paradox Rift or not go hard on it uh, considering the um, card quality and I worry so much um, you know, opening Japanese and Chinese doesn't matter too much and another psychos are like um, yeah this doesn't matter too much Because they not you know almost come perfectly and stuff like that. So yeah. So that's for that. And then of course um, you're seeing this on Saturday. So you know yesterday Friday uh, was announced um, shiny version of 
the Paldea or Scarlet and Violet sh uh, shinies now. So, what do you guys think of that? Um, probably post some of the pictures for spoilers. Um, yeah, so here you go. I am upset and disappointed. Or more like, yeah, disappointed and upset because of how it looks and you know while I appreciate a shiny version set you know they're not using new arts they're just reusing like they did in the sword and shield um, era like the hidden fates um, shining fates and yeah and I guess in Japanese and Asian it's the shining V star so you know uh, being a Charizard fan um, what did they do to this card? Um, what do you see wrong with this one? You know? Like, you're looking at it right now. Um, man. Do uh, you think they got the colors right? Is this what a shiny Charizard looks to you? I mean, I think I commented um, below, like, it just doesn't fit so you know I have a couple of shiny Charizards here right so number one you're seeing that card right and then this is from Hidden Fates here in the States and of course um, you know you can definitely see a dark blue ish or almost like crimson black Charizard with the red underwing right so how hard is it to make it this color and when terrestrialize I mean that would have been cool if they did that because now it looks like a dirty clone of the last card from obsidian flames and I made a comment that it looks like a Charizard with a plague or dealing with sickness and it's screaming for pain so this one is from Shiny Star V in Asia or uh, Champion's Path. And um, again, um, one of the cards that got me back into the set was seeing this card. And this one, he's more of a, you know, charcoal black, but red underwing. And, you know, nowhere near the one that they're showing right now for shining stars so what happened there you know like the pr problem with the printer or you know was the computer broken that day it just blows my mind with the quality of that and then of course you know with the starters not looking to different so, yeah, that blows my mind. And uh, again, another set that I'm probably not going to go hard on. And yeah. Or maybe just keep it on, you know, keep a sealed box and keep it, you know. <laughs> and maybe it'll be like Hidden Fates where to be a crazy amount and even shining v star is like in a 400 or 600 dollar box booster box now so of course the prices of the shiny charizards didn't go up already and um yeah what's going on with these this boxes i mean haven't gotten any great pools and no guard chomps yet no evil tolls what's going on no ground on so yeah and there's that 
So, another EX. Haven't seen a, another full art and you know, does that mean we're not going to get a trainer either? Like, or maybe showing up now, so we're due. Yeah, so. Definitely. Yeah, about shining beast or shining star or something like that. It's just, again, mind blowing. And you know, it's funny, like most or streamers that I've seen are like really excited about it. And yeah, it's just you know they have this standpoint of you know be happy we're getting it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Yeah, I mean, it's a, a bit of, you know, ex extreme side. Like, I, I, I do want to appreciate it. I do want to buy it. You know, I'm a big fan. I got into this, you know, collection because of, you know, the cards. But, of course, you know, like, if you see a print error, um, you would take note. and You would get upset. Um, look at uh, Coltrane Orion, you know with phantom forces and continuously getting like miscut Gen gengar which was a full art and it was the best card you can pull from the set and couldn't get a perfectly centered one and was he happy no <laughs> yeah so it looked good as a content because it was funny but it ain't funny when you know you have it in, in, graded in or in a special, you know, Pokemon case, and it's off-centered, so, yeah. Wow. Again, I keep pulling him. I can't get the other one. Like, what is going on? This is like a <sighs> similar box that we got. Definitely underwhelming here. Yeah, what's so different about this set? It's the same thing. Yeah. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Finally, something new. Yeah, I was waiting to get this guy, and finally, yeah, so this is the upper card, and you can see, you know, the art when you put it on the notebook or something, so. Cool beans. That's a nice surprise. So, yeah, that took a big turn on that. So, all right. So, that's that with the cards. Me or the Japanese have been a little bit tight with the pull rates lately. Um, yeah, it's a little bit tight. So hopefully the giveaway box to the last winner, you know, gets the hits and stuff like that. So. Sure you, you know come back and comment down below you know did you open the box or did you get yet um, of course um, let's see. maybe not yet seeing where you live but um, yeah 
make sure you touch back to the channel and let us know if you pulled any hits um, I mean cost effective wise if say Paradox Rift you know goes down to a hundred dollars then probably better to get that and you don't have to worry about you know multiple boxes I mean, everything is um, you know package so yeah yeah so many releases as well I think what came to release now is that Charizard um, box that came in Obsidian Flames so um, probably nice to be in the collection and everything and um, yeah but I think a gold Garchomp is the best hits this set so That'll be gnarly if we get it from here. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure, you know, want to keep getting Raging Surf now. It's going to be like this. And it's going to make my shot of getting the hits better in Paradox Rift than... Well, buy a full case and get it. So, I mean, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, shield you guys or get you guys promoing on Asian sets that scare you away from the American set. I mean, you, you guys do what you want to do what's best for you and you know it's not always that and I'm just basing it on my experience and what, what, what I've seen in um, the community um, you know it's just so much off centering and stuff like that um, yeah Full art now, Garchomp. Come on. Like, how is it so easy to pull some of those cards? Some people, you know, they get straight fire. Like the Eveltal and Groudon in one pack. Or even like those pulling the Parasol Lady. Like, Where is she? She hasn't visited yet. <laughs> and um Yeah. Yeah, the thing is when ordering these Asian sets, you know, gotta wait weeks and weeks versus paradox rift gonna be sold by a u.s seller and they'll get you in a few days some of that so of course the speed of access is another factor looking into which which set to buy it's just that you know options are good for the consumers us and um you know I would hate to be, um, you know, 
an LGS owner or I'm gonna cut the cards already. Felt the friction of it. It was a gold card too. And so hopefully it's a dodge pack, and not one of those to pull the hit. Yep, I cut a card. Alright, so <laughs> is that and then alright, see well yeah, I don't like cutting you. Uh, matter of fact, you know, Thiebel, enough, 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 enough. <laughs> Stay away from my cards, Thief. Um, but yeah, I think we got a hit incoming now. So, this box though is getting a little bit stingy um, you know it makes you wonder if obsidian flames you know well I mean obsidian flames took me first ETB to pull the best card and then of course it's kind of like skip from one box to another different set to finally getting and hoopa EX like we wanted it yeah no so where is that where is she why is she not showing hey we got the second pair so looking for her now and we got her and Okay, so I was wrong, you know. <laughs> Look at the card. It's this one's off center, so so much, you know. You, I, it's inescapable, I guess, right? So, uh, to the ones that don't burn a hole in your wallet, is I guess the winner. So. There's the first different, and hopefully that's not the SAR that we're still expecting. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Finally, and what the heck? It's off-centered. Yeah, that's not a PSA 10. So is the Groot on in here too? They seem to come in pairs or something like that, so, you know, Beltol finally showing up. Alright, shedding some light into this now. And, come on, don't stop the good stuff from coming. Let's end it with the glue on and... Belto was good. It's just an AR though. It's crazy, huh? And come on, like we need more of this stuff. Gosh, they made another copy. This is like the Charizard of this set. <laughs> the golden cheese stick. So we got every, you know, card of it now. Even the EX and full art and everything. So. I think we're done with collecting the cheese stick. Not even the goal that we wanted to do, but it happens to be so. All right, last pack magic. You know, who do we want? You know, let's let's get um Garchomp. You know, Grudon can wait. And Paradox Rift or something like that. A Japanese Garchomp will be nice to end this. And we got a nice card in the last pack magic of the other one too, right? So let's end this with a bang. 
Riku, and we did not end it with a bang. Wow. Wow, we wow, wow. Okay, so yeah, um, you know, much better pulls. Um, you know, we got that, and then we got that. The gold cheese stick and Eveltal, finally. So, got Eveltal, and yeah, um, yeah, don't forget there's a giveaway here like and subscribe and of course answer the question below you know are you gonna wait for and or are you looking forward for future flash for ancient war or are you gonna go straight skip it and just go with paradox rift and um, hope to pull everything from that so yeah um, you know it's probably gonna be what I think is probably gonna skip the <laughs> future thing but you know what that's gonna make the price um, really low you know or go down low and not gonna be happening to like the last ones like uh, clay burst and snow hazard you know increasing in price and then of course going down only when Paldea evolved came out but um you know I think it's to control the price I think that's why it's happening but hey it's not bad it's good for us consumers right but yeah here you go guys um, another giveaway of this like and subscribe and uh, you know turn on your notification bell in addition to commenting okay so do all those four and you're qualified we'll pull it in a week all right well hope you enjoy the show and stay in a good side and stay in good health and remember this god loves you we love you and jesus is lord bye now